So today we're going to be working on this Mikuni oil pump that is found on some c engines, uh, commonly the 717 engine or the 787 c engine. Um, this is from a GSX 1997 model of the 787 model and I'm restoring it so I'm just trying to take this apart and I'll be showing you how to test the, the oil pump to see if it's working and to make sure it's pumping oil out of these two nozzles here. Right, so first things first when you're looking at this oil pump, um, just some things to know. These two nozzles here is where the oil will be coming out of. This is a bleed valve, so when you bleed the, the oil, just make sure that that's closed. Um, this is like a butterfly, so it's got a small dial right over there. If you can see there, those two lines over there line up there. So there's one there and there's one there. And then those, those two pieces over there, those two lines over there will be lined up like this when it's normally sitting in the engine and all tensioned up and the cable will be running through here. Uh, and make sure that when, when you're trying to test it, that is not full open. Full open is until it doesn't move anymore. Okay, that's full open. So just make sure you're aware of that. This over here, this pipe over here, is where the oil comes through from either you've got a fuel filter on the end of here or comes straight from your tank but surely you should have an oil filter okay so the first thing you want to do is you don't have to do this but you want to undo your your cable and these two pipes that's just the easiest way i found to do it um it's not that hard you just unbolt this over here and then pull those two things off there Once you've undone these two bolts over here, the whole thing will just be able to pop straight off the stator cover. And now we've finished with the stator cover, so we can put that aside. Alright, so once you've removed the oil pump um, and undone these two bolts, you can just go and pull them out, put them aside. So this is what we're going to be working with. And I've come up with a way to do this really easily. And what you do is you just put it in a bench vise and tighten it up. Don't go overboard, there's no need to, so just tighten it up. And then just swing it along, swing it this other side. And this is the pump. This is what connects that piece there is what is connected to the, the crankshaft of the engine. And that is what is basically the, the energy source of your motor. What I've got here is the oil I'm going to be using for, for this test. And all I'm doing is I'm using a syringe over here to fill up this pipe. It doesn't have to be all the way full, just enough so that you can see that your pump is working or not. And there we have it, that's all full. Now we want to put this cap on just to be safe. Okay, so once we've got this thing chucked up in a vise, now we can see exactly how we're going to be doing this. This piece over here is what connects to the crankshaft of the engine, and that spins to create your pumping action to get pumped out of these two nozzles over here. So you want to turn this anti-clockwise or in reverse in a drill. That, that's the way it works. and that's how it's going to be and then you can try and bleed this open this just so that there's oil coming out of it that's the bleed valve so open that make sure that there's oil coming out of there close it again and then you want to chuck it up in a drill make sure once you've chucked it up in the drill it is going to vibrate because it's off center um because it's off center it's going to vibrate like hell so that's why i said don't put this in too tight okay so now when you want to put the drill in there just put it in just like that as simple as that and pull your butterfly all the way as far back as possible that's going to allow the oil flow to be constant and it's going to open a valve for the things to put pump as simple as that and then you should see the oil coming out of there Okay, and that's just a view of how the oil is going to be coming out. It's not going to be flowing and flushing out. Um, it's just going to be trickling out slowly like that. 
and if if it comes out both of them like that then 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 your fuel pump's fine it's perfect and you can put it back on the state to cover okay so just go and put your oil pump back on the state to cover and make sure you read through your guidelines on the manual of how to install these usually there's a torque setting and how much loctite or what loctite you must use on these bolts but simply just for the video i'm just showing you how to put them back in it's as simple as this then go and reconnect your oil filter to this line over here and reconnect your two no nozzles over here to the correct pipes and there you go that's how you make sure your oil pump is pumping oil in the cdu engines with a mercuni oil pump.